Thank you, everybody, for joining us today in our Job Nimbus 101 workshop. Today, we are going to be talking about how to get your contacts to show on the calendar. Or in other words, we're going to be talking about the contact scheduling feature. I'm Dan. My name's Logan. It's a pleasure to have you here today. So generally, when you want to schedule something to your Job Nimbus calendar, what you do is you use a task. But our users requested the ability to schedule something directly from the contact. And we added in a few interesting wrinkles that make it really useful to keep people updated, to show times and tasks in more places, and to generally give you a good overview of what your customers are doing, as well as let you work more efficiently from your calendar. So if you're gonna turn this on because it doesn't start on, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into your settings you get there by going to your name in the upper right hand side and going to setting. And then you come to features. Once you're in features, you can turn on contact scheduling. You can see it right here. You'll see it's on. If it's in blue, it'll be in a, a more white area if it is off. So once you've turned it on and refreshed your page, good general job name is tip. Whenever you change something, refresh your page then you can start using contact scheduling. Yeah, and you'll notice that a few things will be different when you're adding a contact in Job Nimbus now. As you see, down here are some new fields. We have the start date and the end date. You can add dates to this when you're creating a contact and your contact will now show up on your calendar. Now, one thing that we should remember is that there's only one place to add a date here. So you can only create one appointment for your contact, whether that's your initial appointment, when you're in production, uh, working on the roof or whatever you're doing for the contact, or if you are, um, or, or another important meeting that you have with this customer. Now, this is something that you should talk with your company about with whether, uh, which time would be best used for this contact scheduling appointment. Here at Job Nimbus, we find it most useful to be used for the in-production time. So when you're actually doing the work for your contact. Now you can also do this on an existing customer. So let's pull up one of our new leads here. So let's go to Natasha. She is a new contact that we have in Job Nimbus. And we've been talking with her and she wants her roof done quickly. So you can, we can add a we can add her to, our, to the calendar right here by clicking on the three dots, selecting edit. Now you'll notice that this brings up a window that's much like the create contact window. We can add dates right here. Let's say she wants to do her roof next week, next Monday from the 8th to the 10th. This is going to be a three day job. We can add those dates right here and then come down here and click save. Now, once we save, she will now show up as her contact on the calendar. We'll show you a, that calendar. A, we'll show you the contact in the calendar in a little bit. But first, we want to show you something really cool here. So if we go to contacts, we can actually see the dates that we have scheduled on our board. So we're in our boards. We'll click in the sales board. We see here the lead, Natasha. And we have the date when that job should be ended by here in her in her in the list right here in, uh, under Natasha. So that right there is uh, how you can add your uh, your contacts to the uh, you can schedule your contacts on the calendar. Now let's take a look at it in the calendar itself. All right, let's take a look. So we're going to click on the calendar on the left hand side. And here we have a few different things that we've added to the calendar. Felix and Natasha are both contacts. And this that says a task, it's a task. Uh, you'll notice that for Felix, we gave a start and end date each day. For Natasha, we just said, this will take all day. Something you can do here is, you know what? Uh, Natasha needs to move that time or we need to move that time. We can take and drag and it will move her to that next day to accommodate our schedule. It's not gonna let her know that, so you'll probably wanna let her know, which brings us to one of the other really cool things that you get to do on here. This is probably my favorite part of contact scheduling. If you're doing a ton of work out of your 
calendar, say you're an admin or an office person, if we click on the, uh, the contact here on the page and then click on the three dots that pull up, we have the full contact action menu. So we moved Natasha, we now need to send her an email saying, hey, we moved your time because weather, these things happen. And we can do that from right here in the calendar without jumping into our pages. So that's gonna save you a ton of extra clicks. A few other things to notice, uh, these are showing up in blue and green because they're assigned to both Charles Schnell as well as Sergio Gonzalez. So if we turn off Sergio, then that will go down to just what's available to Charles. Let's turn it back on now. You'll also notice that these have different icons and what will be used for a task. If we need to change our calendar, say uh, we only want to see tasks, we can come down here to the calendars area. And here is contacts. So I can turn them off altogether. Or I can just say, you know what, I don't need to see my service contacts right now. And that'll turn off just people that are service contact types. So these are your workflow types, much like your tasks use task types. Contact scheduling is a really neat feature. There is one thing to be aware of if you're using it. If you are using Google Calendar, iCal, or Outlook, and you have that synced to your Job Nimbus calendar, uh, these contacts won't show up there on your third party calendar, only tasks sync across. That can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you're using the sync, but something to be aware of. Uh, overall contact scheduling can be really useful, whether you wanna be making your initial appointment right when you're creating the contact, you get to do it right there without creating a task. Or if you're using it for production and you can come in and communicate with your customers on the calendar without going through a lot of extra clicks, it can save you some time and make things a lot clearer to your team, especially by having it on your boards as well as your calendar. Yeah, we, we'd like to thank you all for being here today uh, for our Job Nimbus 101 workshop. If you want, we have a whole bunch more workshops on our YouTube, YouTube channel. We always post them up there. And uh, so you can go check out our YouTube channel for our previous webinars. Uh, there's a lot of great information there. You can also check out our knowledge base where we have a whole bunch of articles on each of the features in Job Nimbus. Uh, it'll help you run through and learn how to use Job Nimbus. Uh, if you need to also contact our support team, uh, our phone number is right there at the bottom. You can also email us and we're more than happy to help you. Yeah, you know, just reach out to us and we'll walk you through whatever you need or we'll help you uh, through whatever's happening in Job Nimbus because we're here to help you and to bring your company to the next level. Absolutely. Have a great day, everybody.